Well done, bike. Oh, a bit salty. A bit salty on the front. The time that you've all been waiting for. The Phil Street Song. By Captain Rambunctious. Bally ho and all that. There's a chap in front. I think he's on a T100. Got lovely pea shooter exhaust. Didn't know there was another one at my neck of the woods. <laughs> Try and point out the video camera. <laughs> nice hay guns. <laughs> Very nice bike. I like the gold pinstriping on the tank. I wonder if he knows it'll go on YouTube. <laughs> Lovely. What a nice bike. <laughs> Did you just squirt me, you f He just spurted on me. He's spurter. He's a spurter. Spurty spurt. Well done. Numpty. Thank you for spurting on me, young lady. <laughs> ah, she must be a squirter. Squirty spurt. Spurty squirt. <laughs> he saluted. Did you see that? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Brilliant. I wonder if it's a subscriber. I have no idea, of course. If it is a subscriber, he's my first, as it were. <laughs> I don't know of any other um, Bonneville riders around here, that's the thing. But he, well, he could be an M40, Hugh and an M40 uh, client, as it were. Client makes it sound a bit naughty. Rather, a bit naughty. Have a, have a ding dong. Uh, horrible bits of plastic and glass. I hate it. Ah! I hate going down the back of places like that. So, shall we? For old time's sake, last time. <laughs> yes, last time! I'm on the bike to this place of work. This is the last time I'll be riding this road back from work. So, it's all a matter of last times, really. Which would be quite fun. Lovely. Well, I've been editing the Barnstormer video. I've been editing the video from this morning as well. Not much happened. I was a bit silly in places. The time that you've all been waiting for. The filtering song by Captain Rambunctious. Filtering, filtering, filtering along. Filtering, filtering. This is my filtering song. He gets a sideways flip of the helmet. Do I dare? Do I dare go down the gap of death? The scooterist, I believe. Oh no, well it's a sort of a scooterist. Going down the gap of death. Ta-da! I survived everybody. I survived. Look at me, I'm alive! I feel happy! I feel happy! Ah! Slowly bitey, scratchy monkey, something like that. Well done, bike. Oh, a bit salty. A bit salty on the front. Listen to this. <laughs> but apart from that, not much. And yeah, this is my final vlog for a while. It's my final vlog back from where I used to work. Because tomorrow is my last day at RAF North Holt. But I'm coming in by car tomorrow so I can take all my stuff home. End of an era, really. I've been riding this route now for two and a half years. A year of that was on my street triple. And a year and a half on this trusty maiden. It hasn't hit home yet. I'm going to be flying, finally. But, um, yeah, it's all, um, it's all happening. Very chuffed. 
Very chuffed indeed. It's now about three degrees. <laughs> And I'm not wearing my maxi neck tubes. I thought, yeah, it's daylight, it's going to be warm enough not to have to bother, you see? <laughs> well, I've got a very cold neck. Oh well. Once I was riding where it was so cold, and I wasn't wearing a neck tube, that my brain hurt because the blood going to it was getting very cold on the way up. And I felt quite lightheaded. As if I was hypoxic. You see? They're bordering on dangerous, that was. Hello. Um, so, yeah. A bit dodge. So, it's no, that's one of those things you don't think about. The cold. How it actually affects your brain power. But, yes, I was quite surprised how cold, how cold the blood got in my neck up to my head. Anyway, that's certainly how I explained it. It might not be right. <laughs> My, my idea of biology is rubbish. Apart from the uh, sexual reproduction, of course, I'm quite an expert in that, young ladies. Um, but, uh, yes, when I was trying to work out the blood circulatory system, I still don't know how it works. I assume, and have always assumed, it's like a car coolant system, where from the heart it goes down the left arm, back up, down the left-hand side, down the left leg, back up the left leg, round the right leg, back up, right-hand side of the body, right leg, up through the head and back down to the heart. That, that's how I, uh, that is how I envisage the blood circulatory system. So when it comes to biology, don't listen to a word I say. Because I can only understand it in terms of physics. Or maths, you know, something that's logical, something that makes sense. The human body does not make sense as far as I'm concerned. Although it's got some wonderfully squidgy bits. I understand those all right. <laughs> Especially when I use my favourite word, like, moist. Absolutely. <laughs> Gosh, this is a rude one, I do apologise. Going to Spain for three weeks, training. More simulator flying work and all that kind of stuff. Then back to Blighty for ground school. And I should be flying passengers by May time. Because I've got to convert onto this type of aircraft they want me to fly, you see. Hopefully when I get back from Spain I'll be able to do some riding on the motorbikes and vlogging and all that. Um, and maybe when I'm in Spain, because I'm near Jerez, maybe in Spain I'll be able to... Uh, oh, that's a downshift, Red Renner, by the way. So's that. Just so you know. That's how you do a downshift. <laughs> God, how patronising was that? Uh, anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to do some vlogging and stuff, but I don't know if I'm going to get the opportunities. Um, such as, thank you very much, uh, go, when I'm doing ground school, uh, do I need to be in uniform? And if so, it's going to be very difficult to commute on my motorbike. Uh, I don't even know where it is yet. So, hopefully I'll have access to my motorbike, and certainly in Spain. Sorry, I was talking about Jerez. Uh, yes, in Jerez, hopefully, uh, there's a racetrack there, I believe. Um, I don't know how it works. Can you hire all the kit? Can you hire clothing, helmet, boots, all that kind of stuff, and a bike. I don't know, no idea, um, but I'm certainly going to see what my options are because I'll take my GoPro out and everything, and what I'll do is I'll clamp it to the bike because so, I won't have my helmet with a sticker, so maybe it won't be a vlog, but it might be a video anyway, it might be quite cool. See what happens, shall we? That's the plan. So the next, ooh, eight weeks or so, it's all going to be very up in the air with my vlogging and reviewing and all that kind of stuff. I'll apologise, but that's what I'll do, just to let you all know, that's what's happening. So don't bugger off, don't think I've stopped, don't think I've lost interest. Uh, I'm full-on moto vlogger now, I'm into the Facebook thing, uh, Moto Vlog UK social page, and I've got a page on Facebook now, not just me, Cat, Cat Rambunctious, it's now, there's now a Captain Rambunctious Facebook page. I uh, put photographs, videos, that sort of thing on there. Um, Twitter is massive, I mean, if you want to reply to me on Twitter or get hold of me on Twitter, that's fine. Stickers-wise, feel free to message me and I will post them to you, uh, free of charge, as a thank you for being my subscribers. Got about 30 left of each, so uh, when they run out, then I might have to start charging, you know, maybe 50p a sticker or something. But, but for now, I've still got a few left, so now they're free. Feel free to uh, request a couple. 
by uh, all accounts, the Tally Valley Ho stickers, the red ones, really pop. They look really good. Uh, lots of people have been posting pictures on Facebook of them, on their helmets and bikes and things. And Stephen Webster, by the way, Stephen Webster, amazing chap, did 2,000 miles for charity, uh, British Lung Foundation, I believe. He put his Tally Valley Ho sticker on, on the front of his fairing. Um, looked amazing on the black background. Um, I'm really chuffed because I wasn't sure about the red when. Uh, Hepcat Harley suggested red. I thought, uh, oh, I don't know, wouldn't black or something look better? But no, red works on every colour so far. I haven't seen it look bad on anything. So um, he was right about that, uh, naughty old sausage. But yeah, Stephen Webster on his fairing, uh, a couple of other chaps put them on the backs of their helmets. I find it very, uh, hello, humbling, that, uh, and I'm deeply honoured that uh, you think it's deserving of such a position so thank you very much and uh, i'm glad you're still enjoying everything i have a couple of trolls not really trolls but people calling me plonkers on videos but then again i haven't taken it to heart because i'm a bit of a plonker i do sort of prat about uh one guy yes was complaining that i was contradicting myself a lot on the tiger sport review uh quite possibly but i just ramble what i think at the time so it's by all means I might think one thing at the beginning of the ride and change my mind at the end. You know, that's what happens. I'm not going to take it out of the edit because that's the whole that's the whole experience, you see. Uh, and you might have exactly the same experience when you ride it. You might think one thing earlier on and then change it later on. But I'm quite happy to take that sort of criticism. I will try to dumb down the uh, plonkerishness of me. Uh, unfortunately, that's kind of who I am. Well, rambunctious, bit of a plonker bit silly obviously um, that's what I do maybe they thought I was going to be a lot more serious about riding it but then he obviously doesn't understand or know about my character so big catch up big vlog quite a few vlogs to edit and post up in various bits one thing or the other uh, but thank you very much for watching as ever tally ho pip pip and uh, see you when I'm back from um, Spain, you know, that, that, that sort of uh, bulbous wart on the southwest corner of, uh, or what's it called? Europe, that's right. <laughs> um, well, actually, it's near Cadiz. It's near Cadiz Harbour, where we absolutely routed the Spanish Navy. Uh, when was that? That was, ooh, let me think. That might, ooh, yes, when I think about it, that was probably 1805, rings a bell. Something about Trafalgar yeah, rings a bell. So, Toodle Pip, love you all, bye! Tally Bally Ho! <laughs>